Hi everyone, my name is Lucia Donkey and today we're back on the RTS project once again. So in the last video we made the smooth movement and we also added some uh, almost armies, uh, let's say, but more multiple units. So you can see that we've got a number above the head, which is three. And you can see now it's relatively working, the movement and everything, and it's kind of a, a nice basis to start off from. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a few adjustments to the room and then we're also going to add a or start to add an overlay with a few little bits to do with that so maybe uh, resources so like wood, um, stone, maybe gold, uh, other bits and bobs which will be shown on the um, overlay. So to do this of course the problem we have at the moment is the thing, the window itself is very small that's not not big enough to have an overlay in whatsoever so we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger um, we're gonna do this by views now viewports and cameras enable viewports viewport zero um, could just give that a go and see what that, that looks like Probably not great. Oh yeah, all that. Um, ah, let's try that now. Yeah, so that kind of works, but not very well. Uh, the problem with that is we need this width and height to be the same as our room. Our room is two forty two hundred. Okay, now this will look really weird because the proportions are out, um, but there you can see it's bigger, and you can see it is pretty odd. So what we've done there, can we make this bigger? Yeah, there we go, that's better. Um, so we changed the width of the camera to equal the same as the room. Then we need to change the viewport in a minute to be much better. So we're going to say times them by four. So, 960, we need times the other one by 4, 200, that's relatively 100. Uh, now if we run that, we should see, yeah, there we go, that's much better. So basically we've just got the room and, and times it by 4. Um, it works exactly the same, but just, it's now times by 4. It looks a bit odd because things are slightly fuzzy. Um, because the pixels are so big but we can work that out later if we want to we can just make these um, images higher quality or we can make the room itself bigger for the moment though we'll just leave it as is what we are going to do though is make another object this object we're going to call object overlay it's not going to have a sprite um, we can get rid of that now we don't need that so uh, object overlay, we're just going to have a create event, a draw GUI event as well. Um, they're the, the key ones that's going to be used here. So in the create event, we're just going to assign the different things we're going to be uh, showing. And then the draw, we're just going to draw it on. So what, what kind of things do we want to output? They're not things we've got in there at the moment that don't exist. Let's just do a few things that, that do exist at the moment. Units, this is the only one that really does... Uh, exist now we have already determined how many units we have somewhere here I think it's controller that we have um, yeah instance number so we can then put this there and now we have the amount of units it's relatively simple um, other things we can do we can have wood for the purpose of this we're gonna say we have 300 units of wood just to start off with Obviously, realistically, we'd set this to zero, um, but we don't have any way to add wood at the moment. So we're just going to say it's zero, uh, 300, just to input some numbers. Uh, 250 stone, we're going to have gold, um, it's going to equal, and we're going to have 400 gold. Um, and we're just going to stick with them at the moment. We might add some more later on, we'll have to see, but for the moment, I mean, you could add however many you want, realistically. This doesn't really matter. Now we're just going to go really basic and uh, just draw text. 
so we need an X and Y so let's go with the units let's say the start at like 50 50 50 um, and let's, let's see where that takes us units and then let's just copy this for all the other things it's four of them we're gonna change the Y though we're gonna add uh, 50 each time that's not 50 Uh, there we go, we need to change these as well, so that's going to be wood, stone, gold. Uh, and that's a really, really simple overlay. If we run that, it should now come up with the amounts um, somewhere. Or maybe it won't. Because we haven't got the object in the room, that's why. So go back to the room, we need to make sure we've got the room editor. The room editor is gone. Uh, there we go. We need to add a instance. Go into objects, object overlay. Just drag it in. Okay, now that's that sorted. We should be able to run it now. We should be able to see the overlay being written in. Yes, you can see there. However, it's very small. You can see the amount of units, and then you've got the wood, uh, stone, gold. It's very, very small. So we can make that a bit different. We can say, draw set font. We're going to have to make a different font. Um, and we also need a default font. We don't have a default font at the moment. Um, we'll probably make that outside of videos because it's incredibly boring. But for the moment, we'll just leave that, we'll just cut that out, we'll just comment it, um, we'll just say default, just so we know to code that in the future. But we need a font that is relatively big, so we're going to create a font, we're going to call it font large, because why not? We're going to set the size to 30, let's give that a go, and uh, yeah, set the font to font large and we'll give it another run now this is a really really yep yeah, that kind of works um, it's good enough it probably you can see here though, that's where we need the default because otherwise you get that happening probably see though we need it to be uh, black white doesn't work very well and also we do need to reset those after we need to set it back to white otherwise it will go wrong later on um, it's good practice whenever you're draw setting anything to draw set it back to whatever it was to begin with and there you go you can see that's relatively okay um, one thing we can do to make this more user friendly is say units plus that we're probably going to have a error there um, we'll leave it though and see, uh, just in case. I don't know how the new game maker works on that. Um, effectively, normally you get um, a do add error, um, but we'll see. We'll see whether it works because that's a number. That's a string. Yeah, do add. Uh, well, we'll change that to be a string then. I will just copy this because I can't be bothered to write it out all over again. Okay. So that's pretty basic. Now if we run it, it should now give us a bit of uh, feedback as to what actually those numbers are. Yep. Units, wood, stone, gold. Nice and simple. Now, I'd say we could leave it at that to be honest. Um, you could add bars to it and we'll probably do that in the future and make it a little bit more again user friendly and make this not so all in the top hand corner and um, spread it out along the bottom and stuff but for the moment we've just got a basic output um, the beauty of this overlay now is that means not only can we use it for other things um, if we need to we can use the overlay object but we can use those numbers so we can have trees and stuff and make our units cut them down we can have stone mines and make them mine them um, we can do all sorts of things and from that have a visual output as to how many things you're getting and then also you can have units building things 
um, all the nice RTS things that go with it. But um, yeah, this is uh, going to be it for this video. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, always do what you guys want to do, and I will talk to you in the next one.